Hi, I'm Heather Haley, coming to you live from McCormick Place here at GBTA Convention 2019. It's my pleasure to have with me today Kisip Che from Predict X. Welcome. Thanks for being with me on this beautiful day here in Chicago. It's fantastic. Thank, thank you for inviting me. Of course. This is the best part of the day. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, you know, we've heard so much about AI in our travel space, right? Sure. Uh, making drastic improvements on our industry. Mm. Tell me though, from a travel manager's perspective, how is that really improving what they do? Yeah, so I think the truth is for many travel managers, they're consuming the result of AI that's been developed by the suppliers. So I'm looking here around in the booth and there's Uber sitting there and obviously there's a lot of AI and machine learning that they use to actually understand their customers better, uh, optimize the revenues. I mean, it, it's, it's, when surge pricing goes on, it's, there's some sort of AI behind this. So we see this happening with the suppliers and, and another case in point, revenue management is probably where a lot of the suppliers have applied machine learning to. And one evidence is that is that I'm sure everyone has rec saw, uh, seen that for uh, certain routes and certain city pairs, the old chestnuts of uh, seven day, 14 day, 21 day advanced booking no yeah. longer is the, the cheapest option, right? Yeah, yeah. That's it, because these, the, the revenue model is being adapted in almost in real time. So we're seeing the suppliers investing in this and ultimately what they'd like to do is really understand the traveler better so they can customize and engage directly with them. Now, the buyers can, uh, I, th in, I think the truth is the early adopters have started to look at AI and machine learning in terms of how it can help them. But I would say probably that, that, that it's not yet permeated, although I think it's a question of when, not if. I think AI is gonna, is gonna be pervasive everywhere. Um, so we really look forward to seeing that happen. What's your advice, you know, the early adopters are yeah. seeing it, you know, really as we, you and I talked about before, yeah making dramatic improvements on their program, yeah. helping them with efficiencies. There's yeah. so much now for the travel manager to do in yeah. today's day and age. Yeah. So what's your advice to those travel managers that haven't yet adopted it? There's a gap between the supplier sure. and buyer, right? A absolutely. So I, I like to think of the, the benefit of AI kind of in two camps. One, can it, sort of, can it be used to automate, automate decision making? So um, just as an example, um, I'm sure that many travel managers can relate to having some sort of plan, say, say Sunday night or over the weekend, okay, next week I'm going to be planning strategically exactly how I want to restructure my program, re-look at the, 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 the policies or the sourcing mechanisms and so on and so forth, or really invest in how I can use dynamic pricing, all of that stuff. Yeah. And those are strategic activities. Now, how often do you get in on a Monday and find some sort of fire that you need to fight, right? All the time. All the time. <laughs> All the time. Or a request from finance, can I get this? Request from procurement, can I get that? Suddenly your whole week of trying to do st strategic work is gone. So what if we can get AI to actually understand and start automating some of these tactical things for you so that you don't have to? So this idea of predicting and preventing problems before they happen is something that some of the early adopters are putting into place now. So they don't have to, so they, they know in advance there's an issue. They've already yeah. been dealt with rather than getting a call out of the blue that's completely disruptive that they have to then uh, scrap everything else. So that's that automation, I think that's key. Uh, uh, second is the strategic part. How can we empower better decision making, better, this, and one of the ways you can do is much better forecasting. Um, if we can really predict the volumes and understand where that's going way in advance, you can do all sorts of things. One is better supply management, obviously, and, but, but also better engagement with the business as a consultant, as a partner to the business. So important. Yeah, and so you, you, should, you should completely, you should never, been, never be in the position of actually having to ban business travel. No, definitely not and in does our it, business. Keeps and does up. it still right. happen? Yes, right? Yes. So, and so even something as simple as better forecasting makes a huge difference, as you can see. It and does. The, and the lastly, the biggest prize really is understanding, understanding your travelers, what makes them tick, what do they want, in a way that Facebook understands their users, in the way that... We're seeing that, it all around yeah. us, right? We're the seeing it all around us. The suppliers us. would yeah. love that direct engagement. I think that's... the the potential for tension as well as partnership. And I think on that note, that's that the key, right? It's yeah. the partnership piece yeah. that we need to focus on. 
So I yeah, think so they, yeah. thank you so much, Kisa, for being with me. This topic we could go on and on about all day. So oh, it was thank really you a so pleasure. much. Thank you. Live from McCormick Place here at GBTA Convention 2019, I'm Heather Haley, and thanks for tuning in.